Hi, um, I'm Dan McComb. Um, so I, I'm here to talk about like a little bit about like well the first thing I want to talk about is where do business ideas come from right an idea for a business and um, I think that the best business ideas come from problems your problems and your solutions to the problems and how you solve a problem is the gem of an idea so about a year and a half ago I had a problem which is I'm a web developer and I you know I was recently married to my wife Laura who's over there uh, and she and, and she was kind of a little upset with me because I was only billing on a really good week maybe 20 hours a week, right? Like a lot of people, and 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 I thought that was just fine, right? But it wasn't. So I, I needed to uh, network and and find more work. So I, I started thinking I should solve my own problem by building a, a network for people who are looking for more work um, in a way that's that's manageable because I I didn't like the ones that were out there. So Biznick is 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 a gem of that's come out of this idea. It's a social network for indie business people. Um, it's event based. It's different than most social networks, which are just kind of ideas on a cloud. Like you can go and join MySpace and have a profile, but it doesn't have a real life component. Biznick is about face to face events. Um, in fact, uh, with a nod to Brady Forrest, uh, events like tonight, right, where we all come together, meet, and actually um, do what is the magic ingredient in every business transaction, which is build trust with each other face to face. That's really the way to do it. Um, Biznick has workshops. Um, we, we have a lot of. Uh, uh, um, uh, ways, it, it, basically all of our workshops are put on by members. Anyone who's a member of business can host an event. They can be um, uh, a happy hour, something as simple as a happy hour. They can be, um, like Scott Birkin hosted an event about a user interface design. Um, there's a, a, um, a lot of the members of Biznick. Um, Biznick is basically a Seattle phenomenon so far. It's a, we've got close to 2,000 members right now, but there's um, uh, members in 50 countries, most of those are just like, you know, Sierra, Le Sierra Leone with like one member or something, right? But as you can see in the Puget Sound area is where most of us are coming from right now. Um, Biznick, uh, uh, interestingly enough, um, Biznick is just a, is a pretty simple website that I built in my spare time, totally in my spare time. Um, and, and, and right now, um, it's, it's, you know, just it's, it's starting to go beyond that. But um, it's got profiles, just like you would expect, right? Um, but w focus around real face-to-face -face interactions and, and events that are happening. Uh, one of the things that's fun that's built into it is um, SEO, you get SEO for free for creating a business profile. Anybody can create a profile, by the way. Um, and, uh, here's an example. Marco Mazzoni has a profile. Um, his business profile comes up um, right away near the top, and his LinkedIn profile comes in below that. Thank you very much. Uh, what, what, one, of this, one, one of the reasons is because LinkedIn puts their brand name before their customer's name. Why do you think they do that? I don't know. Um, why is business working? Business working because mainstream business networking groups haven't really gotten into social networking yet. The big players in this are BNI and Latip that have literally millions of members all over the world and their websites are abysmal. Um, we have a, a business plan for what we're doing. It's uh, supporting members. For 10 bucks a month you can be a supporting member. Um, you get a lot of, uh, of features for that. Uh, we have pro informational products because we, what we've discovered in, in, the, in the just over a year that we've been doing this is that a lot of people who start businesses really don't have a clue about how to start a business. I'm one of them but I've learned a lot in the, in the years and I've partnered with a lot of interesting people. Um, and so uh, we've gotten a little bit of a little review so far. Lifehacker reviewed us. Um, work, work happy .net. Um, Lifehacker actually called us an interesting alternative to LinkedIn, which I love, um, given the fact that they have millions of members and we have uh, not quite 2,000 so far. But, uh, but it's been a lot of fun. Uh, our logo is designed by Nadia Haldeman, who many of you in this room I know have worked with. Nadia is a, Nadia is a Swiss designer who just, I just want my designs to look like her. <laughs> Uh, we have a couple of other great people on our team now. We have a team of four people. John Adair is a Rails developer. The next version of our website we're building uh, is going to be released in February. Uh, I'll talk more about that in a second. Um, if you create an event, it's just a really simple web form. We, we, just, we strive to make everything as simple as possible um, because most of the pe members in our group are, are totally non-technical. We have a lot of people like you know, massage therapists in Seattle who are networking through the service. Um, you, you can, the nice thing that we've discovered is just a really simple thing, which is when you attend an event, you can go online ahead of time and you can see who's coming. Like, think about it, right? Like, when you, when you, when you want to attend an event, if you can actually see ahead of time who's going to be there, it changes a little bit your behavior about how you're going to approach that event. You can actually figure out in advance who you want to talk with. Uh, is anyone not welcome in business? Uh, yes, as it turns out, um, MLMs, uh, multi-level marketing um, com companies are cannibals. They suck really bad and so we ban them. Uh, that's the only group that...
uh, actively and sort of ruthlessly um, eradicated from our group, uh, and, it's, and we've done it quite well. Um, what are people? I'll just have one quote after reading. Fun, creative, happy people reaching out to connect with other fun, creative, happy people. What a concept! No one in your face about how great they are. No one pushing their business on you. Um, just uh, I can't read it. Just just a relaxed, informal setting where you put where you get to meet and learn about people like you, authentic and self-aware. And that's kind of the goal of what we're doing. Um, people, the, the line I like to use is that um, people who are as, are as authentic in, in, in business as they are in the rest of their lives. Um, this talk is just a forum, a, a fairly straight up forum, sort of blog style commenting, uh, where you can talk about business, you can get ideas with other people who are starting businesses. It's really, the goal of all this is to help you start a business and help you get you know, from your idea into a place where you're actually making money from your idea. We have a blog where we interview our interesting members um, and uh, that's kind of one of the things I've blogged about a lot is just by interviewing uh, our people who are doing who have interesting ideas and and great concepts no matter where they are. Um, this guy is a 19-year-old entrepreneur in Australia who's actually hosting events down there now, which is fantastic. Um, Fun stuff to drive traffic to your website. I mean, we've never been um, in the press at all. We've all been spreading word of mouth by blogging. Um, one of the great ways to do that is to give people little widgets that let them show how much traffic they're driving to your website. And that's one of the things that we did there, and that's been really effective for us um, to, to get noticed. If you type in Business Networking Seattle, we're number three in the search engine on Google right now, largely because of stuff like that. Uh, we have a manifesto. Um, and having a manifesto, I think, is a great way to, to present your, your mission statement to people who care on that level. Um, lots of people have manifestos, but uh, are, we're pretty proud of ours. Chris Haddad, uh, any, if any of you know Chris Haddad, uh, who's involved in some other projects around town, wrote that for us. And finally, um, Disney 2.0 is coming. Um, we have a team of four people. It's going to be released in February. We're, we're doing a complete rewrite of the code base. Um, it's going to have groups. Right now, basically, Bisnick is one big group. It's mostly a Seattle group. The next, edition, the next version of the website is going to have groups that are um, totally localizable. Anyone who's a member can create their own group around that idea. So, thanks.